so I, I don't really know how up to date you are on your politics or if you, if you even really care about the election. In case you haven't already heard through the grapevine, um, Donald J. Trump, the former host of The Apprentice and uh, wall building extraordinaire, has just been recently elected to become the next president of the United States of America. I know this might come as a surprise. To a lot of you, I will admit it is a less than desirable outcome. I voted for Harambe, so a lot of you might be a, a little freaked out, a, a little scared and worried about the future of the United States. Um, although I, I realize some of you probably voted for Donald Trump, so congratulations, I guess. Fortunately, I, I don't think the situation is as bad as a lot of you are making it out to be. Um, I think it's a good time to be positive and realize that Trump being president isn't that bad. There's a silver lining to everything, and I, I think it would help to see the good things that could potentially come out of this. So I, I compiled a, a short list of reasons why having Trump as president isn't that bad. The first reason will be the abundance of I, I told you so moments to come over the next four years. Uh, this is a moment in hindsight where someone may realize that they didn't make the best decision. And if you were on the other side of that decision, you could basically say, I, I'm i better than you. For example, one of your Republican friends uh, might be a little upset if World War III comes around and be like, man, I, I really don't like that my country is torn from war. Um, I told you so. Another reason why Trump getting elected last night isn't the worst thing is that it's completely overshadowed by the fact that Republicans control both the Senate and the House which gives Trump basically the best possible environment to do what he wants to do. If you didn't vote for Trump, that, that's pretty much the, the true evil in this situation. So saying that Trump's election and him just becoming president alone is the worst thing really, really doesn't make sense. Another reason to not get so upset by all of this is that you could get murdered or die of illness within the next four years. Humans preferably want to be alive. There's not much you can do if you are not alive. Um, so if any of that were to happen, the Trump presidency would be the least of your worries, uh, and you should really be thinking about, um, how you're not gonna exist anymore. Another reason why you should stay positive is that Rogue One still exists, and it's coming out next month. It's, uh, the next Star Wars movie. I love Star Wars. From the trailers, looks pretty sick. Uh, one of my favorite things to do is to go to a movie and uh, be completely ignorant of what's going on in the country and the things that'll eventually affect me and my children and my grandchildren. Um, but I really like Star Wars, so that's, that's a cool thing that it, it's still happening and it wasn't affected by the election. My final reason why the Trump presidency isn't that bad is that Vlad the Impaler isn't president. Uh, Vlad the Impaler was a prince from uh, where present-day Romania is many centuries ago. Um, and he did a lot of terrible things. He he impaled people, if you couldn't already tell by his his uh, name and title. And he just wasn't that great of a guy. Donald Trump, say what you want about him, he doesn't impale people, which is great. So I, I'm really glad that Vlad the Impaler is not our current president. Um, plus, he, he's also been dead for 600 years, so he really couldn't do anything as president. Well, I hope this video cheered you guys up. If you're feeling a little down, a little upset, um, the world still, the world is still turning. Uh, things aren't as bad as they may seem. Um, do your part to be a good American and, uh, have a, have a good Wednesday, I guess.